One of the best parts about the holidays, of course, is getting together with friends and family, maybe after you've been apart for a while. But it's also a time when families feel really busy. They can also be distracted, and that can result in accidents and leaving little ones uh, with uh, the ability to explore and not enough supervision. At yeah, moments. you know, often appealing to their eyes, a swimming pool, of course, it poses, poses a huge danger for the little ones. So we have learned two kids who nearly drowned last week were at short term vacation rentals. Maria is live in Chandler with more on uh, some important safety reminders. Maria, good morning. Good morning. So the big message that water safety advocates want to get out is to make sure you have a conversation with your friends and family, whether they're in town or out of state coming to visit over the holiday season. We know that water safety is a year round thing that we need to talk about because kids, they get curious, they can fall in. And so we know there were three kids who were found underwater in pools in the valley over the Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving holiday. Two survived, including a toddler and seven year old girl, but sadly, one little boy did not. We know drowning is preventable, but if you're like, wait a minute, it is too cold to go swimming, Lori Schmidt puts it in perspective for us. She is the spokesperson for Scottsdale Fire and also the president of the Drowning Prevention Coalition of Arizona. What do parents and just the whole community need to know? People who have kids or not? You know, like you said, it is a year-round issue. In the summertime, it is usually a poolside supervision issue. And in the wintertime, it's usually because we're distracted, whether it's friends and family visiting. Um, it can be our own home, um, and we have friends and family who are distracting us. Or you could be renting a home, and there's a pool in the backyard. So kids don't know or pay attention to the temperature. They just see the pool in the backyard, and they want to go swimming no matter what. I was like that. <laughs> Oh, so what do people need to look for when they are renting out a home? You know, we get excited when we see that there's a pool in the backyard, but if you have children, especially children under the age of five, find out if there's a barrier around that pool, whether it's a mesh fence, a wrought iron fence, maybe there's a pool cover, keep those barriers intact. If they don't have a barrier, then you need to really think hard about whether that's the appropriate home for you to be renting. And sometimes we know that Airbnb or other vacation rental apps, they may have pictures posted that show there's a pool fence or show something and then you get there and then you've got another story, right? <laughs> the pictures aren't exactly what you see. So a good idea to reach out to the host and see if they even have what you are seen uh, in person. Also, uh, we do want to let you know that I reached out to Airbnb, one of the properties where the kids um, had a water incident. Um, it was an Airbnb property. The app says the app company is saying that they uh, work with hosts to provide safety information. But again, it's a good idea for you um, to to really be mindful, especially if you got friends and family visiting from out of town to have that very important conversation. And Scott Olivia, you guys know that water safety is very close to my heart and very passionate about helping uh, to educate the community about it. And the last thing we want uh, our families to come here and then they have to deal with this tragedy, go be at the hospital. And we know that all the time these kids survive. And if they do, they may have some long term injuries. Yeah. Happens and way too often. And it's not just pools, it's five gallon buckets right. of water. Mm -hmm. It's Bathtub, anything. And we yeah. see it in all circumstances. Yeah, we sure do. Maria, thank you.